Our next guest was recently recognized with her sport's highest honor. In 30 seasons in South Bend, she has won an incredible 765 games, coached 11 All -Amer 18 All-Americans, appeared in seven Final Fours, and guided the Fighting Irish to a 2001 National Championship. I think you might have an idea right about now who this is. We're honored to be joined by the newest member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, the Karen and Kevin Keyes Family Head Women's Basketball Coach, Muffet McGraw. Welcome to Notre Dame Dame Muffet. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to be here with you. It is such a pleasure to be with you. I've watched you work so good. I'm so proud of our women's basketball programs. And sitting here talking to you as we've been visiting for a little while, 30 years you've coached here at the University of Notre Dame. Does it seem like 30 years? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sometimes when I look in the mirror, it does. But, uh, <laughs> no, I don't believe you know, I that. I tell people I came when I was 15. and uh, I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been amazing. It is such an amazing place. I never get tired of walking across campus and seeing the sun reflecting off the Golden Dome, and especially when the band comes marching through in the fall. And what a great place. We're so fortunate to be able to be here. Well, you spent five years at Lehigh before you came here. Did you think when you joined the University of Notre Dame, you would have this kind of a longevity in your career? You know, I thought, I'll be there five years and I can always go home if it doesn't work out. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's kind of the way we, we approached it. And all of a sudden it was 10, and then it was 20, and now here we are at 30, and it just, it feels the same. Over the 30-year period, we, you know, being a part of a football program for so many years, there are certain teams that just touch your heart. Are there certain teams, I won't say which is better or worse, I mean, that's just not fair to any of the girls who played, but when you think about it, are there certain teams that just you know, left an indelible mark on you? You know, of course, the championship team, you always, you always feel just a certain connection with them because it was such a special year. Uh, somebody like Ruth Riley, who was just an amazing player, amazing person. Neil Ivey, who's on my staff, uh, just led us to a championship. But, you know, the first one is kind of special. Uh, 97 was our first one with Beth Cunningham, who's also on my staff. Um, but, you know, 2011 on, we went five straight Final Fours, and every player that was here during that period I just, I have such a great, great love for because they were just so special to get us back there. That's really difficult to do five years in a row. I asked the Buffalo Bills about going to four straight Super Bowls, same kind of situation. It's very difficult to get it. But again, like them, you know, by the time, like after the fourth one and you were back, did you finally say, ha, Connecticut, we're going to get you now? I mean, was it, you know, did you finally feel like you had what you needed? It's funny. In 2011, we had to beat Tennessee in the regional final and Connecticut in the semifinal to get to the championship game. And so it, it was it was never been done before in women's basketball that you could be two of those iconic programs. So it was it was exciting to get that started. And then next year, we're like, well, you know, it doesn't just happen. you you got to really work to get there. And then you go two years in a row and three years in a row, and people just start to expect it. And it was amazing how it, it just, you know, we just continued to ride that wave. But it really, it's difficult. And uh, and this year was, was a, a hard year. We got to the Elite Eight, one step away, one point away from getting back to our dream of the Final Four, and uh, just makes it so tough to, to forget that one. You know, people, I think a lot of people talk about men's basketball in, in a certain way, and, and you identify different aspects of it. Do you have a big man? Do you have a point guard? In women's basketball, as you put your team together, what do you really, a couple of things you absolutely have to have if you're going to have a chance to win a championship? Well, I think guard play is critical. You have to have great guards in order to win. You have to have a great point guard, no question about that. We had Skylar Diggins uh, when we were on our way with four straight and then came in with a freshman, Lindsey Allen, and we went undefeated into the national championship game. So we, we've always had great point guards, but you got to have somebody inside too. And obviously we've had some really great ones, Natalie Chamla, Devro Peters. Uh, just recently we, we've had some really good players, Bri Brianna Turner right now. Um, an All-American in the post, and that's what you got to have. I had a chance to visit with Arike early today. What she's really a special one as well. She really is. She is the most exciting player in college basketball. When she gets the ball, the crowd gets on the edge of their seat because they know something fun is going to happen. She's so strong. She'll just knock people over to get to the rim. She can finish in traffic. She can shoot. She was our leading three-point shooter this year, leading scorer. Just had a phenomenal year. But just what an exciting player and a great, great kid to coach. Now we never ever like to root against against other people. I don't know if I agree with that. But I was, <laughs> well, okay. Some people, let me qualify that. Some people don't like to root against other people. Um, seeing Connecticut lose this year, were you surprised? Good for the game. I, I thought, I wasn't, yeah. uh, I guess, I guess a little surprised when they're undefeated going in, but um, you just look at what they've done. You know, they've had such great success that I, I think for our game to grow, we need to have other people win, and we need to have other people in the Final Four. So I, I thought it was really great for the game. 
What about next year's team? What do you think? You know, we're going to be a, a, a different team. Brianna Turner went down in the Purdue game with a, a knee injury that, that, that cost us our chance maybe to get to the Final Four. So her rehab is going to be instrumental in to see when is she coming back. We lost our point guard who got drafted by the New York Liberty, so we're excited for her. Um, so we're, we're, we're going to have some changes, and uh, it's going to be fun. You know, sometimes it's nice to be the underdog for a change. You know what, Muffet, it's, you've, you've done such a fabulous job. And I know as long as you want to coach here at Notre Dame, we have great expectations of what your <laughs> yeah. basketball team is going to look like. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I appreciate uh, Muffet and joining us. We are truly blessed here at the university to have someone like her.